Hi, my name is Paul Toronto. I'm the chef and owner of Cook here in Needham Center and Cook in Newton. And today we're gonna make a form of Cracker Jacks. So I put a tablespoon of oil in here. About a cup of corn kernels. I'm gonna crank up the heat. I'm gonna cover my pan so I don't have a popcorn explosion. I'm gonna wait about two minutes and it's gonna start to go. While that's working, in this pot here, I have a little bit of butter to make our caramel. We're gonna put our brown sugar, some salt, and some corn syrup. We're gonna bring this to a boil, and we're gonna get this nice and hot to make our caramel. Here I have a candy thermometer. We're gonna get this butter, sugar, corn syrup mixture up to 234 to 238 degrees. If you don't have a candy thermometer, don't get your hands near it. Bring this thing to a boil. Once you start getting the, the bubbles start to get smaller and smaller and it looks really, really hot, that's when you're probably kind of safe. It should be brown. Pull it off before it becomes too brown. That amber color is what you're looking for. So we shake the pan. That way you can see if it's starting to pop. So we're at about 230 degrees right now. I'm gonna pull this caramel off the heat and this is the look we're going for. So I can hear the popcorn. It's alive. Oh boy, that's what you want. Take a peek. So here's our finished corn. Most of the corn is popped. We're gonna go right back into this same pot. I'm gonna put my caramel in. This is what we're looking for. We have our caramel popcorn right here. We're gonna toss a few peanuts in it. Get that Cracker Jack thing going. And we're just gonna mix this around. I have a sill pad. If you don't have a sill pad and you don't have a big pan like this, go into a little pan. I'm gonna put a little bit of my popcorn in here. I'm gonna mix it around. This is enough for maybe me. If I wanna keep my teeth, maybe a little less. I'm gonna pop this in the oven, 200 degrees, about 15 to 20 minutes. I'll stir every few minutes. Here we go. I'm gonna pull out our popcorn. This looks nice. Golden brown, all caramelized. We're gonna wait a few minutes, then we're gonna add our chocolate. If you want mushy, mushy, wet chocolate, put it in now. I might wait a few minutes so I get some crisp chunks of chocolate. So here I have a little bit of bittersweet chocolate. If the kids don't like bittersweet, you could use semi-sweet, you could use milk chocolate. And I just chopped it so that I get my chocolate fix. Some of it's gonna melt, some of it's not. Give it a little toss around. That way we can see the chocolate start to melt. Some won't melt. That's the kind I like. This is really good when you are isolating and alone. You can sit and eat the popcorn through the mask. You can cut a hole in the mask, watch TV on the couch and snack on it there. For me, it's easy because I feel like I'm actually getting some exercise. So I'm working and I'm snacking all at the same time. So I guess this is my lunch. All of the restaurants featured tonight are open for takeout and all of the recipes will be posted on our website. That is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. I hope that you and yours are staying safe and healthy. Good night.